Great, so it seems that the class is now finished for now. So what I can do in my main file, I am going to do include push button.h like this and then I'm going to create in the global scope a push button object. So to create an object again you use the class first. So the name of the class which is here. Okay. Here I have used always the name of the class, okay, and the name of the file, which is the same, but you may use something different, okay? So you include the header file and then you use the name of the class that is defined inside this header file. And I am going to create, so I'm going to name it button. And then, so I'm going to use this constructor. And because I use this constructor, I need to provide a pin number. So let's let's use a define here, define button pin two, and let's put that here, make it clean. And now I have my button which is uh, so initialized here. And what I need to do in the setup is to call button dot init so I can initialize the mode of the pin for the button. Okay. And note that here it's very convenient because once I have provided the button pin, here when I create the button object, after that I just need to call init, okay? I don't need to worry anymore about which pin is used, okay? The pin uh, mode here, the pin mode function handle this automatically. So void setup button init. And then in a void loop, I'm going to do a simple thing, is simply to do sire.println with button read state so we get the state from the button we print it and it's a delay 100 millisecond so we read 10 times every second and because i use serial i'm also going to do serial dot begin with this baud rate 115,000 and 200 Okay, and now uh, make sure that your board is correctly connected and then you can... So let's first verify the code. Okay, we have an error and this error is actually because here in the dot .h I have to include the Arduino library. So Arduino.h with angle brackets. Okay, I previously explained that is that this uh, include is already added automatically for you in the main file, but not in the additional files that you create. So here, byte does not name a type simply because Arduino.h is not included. So now let's verify again. And down compiling. So let's upload this to the Arduino board. Loading. Down uploading and now let's open the Sial monitor and I can see one okay when I press on the button I can see zero I release I can see one press zero I release one so it's working and as you can see here one so we simply get one and zero okay because when you get uh, the state high or low when you use sial.println, it is evaluated at 1 and 0. 